Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Did a little bit of a speedrun collection of stars last time, so instead today we're gonna slow it down. Take things a little bit easier. I actually don't know if that's true. <laughs> Still in World 4 because I was grinded. Grinded. We're gonna head back to 6. And we left off all the way down here for the Galaxy Generator. This will be where we start off today, and then six more stars will follow. Hopefully you're ready. Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm doing great, and if you're doing great, thumbs up the video, give it a like. Toss a comment, give me your feedback. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow along. Get notified by touching the bell, whatever. Okay, here we go. Feels like we haven't really been away from this area that long, but I guess it has been. It's always one of those weird things when you play games like this, where it doesn't feel like it's been a long time since you've been doing stuff, but it actually has been a long time since you've done stuff. Alright, so I feel like we gotta kill these boys. They're getting hammered right now, just like we are. Alright, and a boop, see ya. Not a ton of opportunities for star bits in this galaxy, unfortunately, so we'll take what we can get, which is pittance. That's okay. We're here for the real goal. The green- okay. Am they gonna let me get these? Oh, these guys are gonna disappear. Oh, we, oh, they landed on the rock. Ah, okay. Alright. Let's see if we can find the green star. I've got a feeling it's somewhere down here. Uh, where is it? I hear it. Where are you? Ooh, it's a sneaky boy. Got him! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. This might be another fast one. <laughs> I'm running out of ways to... to buff the episode. Alright, that's okay. I guess I'm just so good at this game, viewers, that I'm just not struggling anymore? Maybe that's what it- no. You would expect that these stars would be at least a little more difficult given the nature of the world we're in. You know, we're almost to the final countdown. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. It's Melty Monster too. Hopefully this one gives us a little bit more of a chance. Oop, there it is. Way up there in the tornadoes. Hopefully this one gives us a little bit of a chance to gather some more sturbits. Gonna do my best, no promises. But we gotta get there first. The tornado section's a pretty decent ways away, so... We're just gonna speed run our way through these pool stars. That's probably not... Pun on it at all. That's actually not according to the way you do the pool star speedrunning mechanic and the bee 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 bee, you know. Oof. I thought that was actually gonna get me chomped. Surprisingly, that star, or um... Yeah, no, that's, I was, I, that's what I was trying to say for once. I was actually correct before I slowed my brain down. That, uh, that pool star, suit, pool star section actually wasn't really that bad. Once again, surprisingly. Whoa. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's like I'm in a wave pool at an amusement park. Maybe you remember those? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got saved by the shaft. I actually used to get really scared of those things when I was a kid. Wave pools, no real reason to. But they were certainly uh, fear inducing for me as a child. I was always afraid that I was gonna get swallowed up by them. You know, just casual. Irrational fears as a child. Alright. Not really a huge swimmer. I don't mind swimming, but... Not really, like, a big pool guy. Like, if someone's like, hey, you wanna go to the pool? I probably would say no. Don't like getting wet. Not like a cat. Which is funny, because I do have one. Oh. Got one of these... Fire boys. Whoop! Yes, I have very cat, very many cat-like qualities. I just love how its eyes are just like, mmm, mm, mm. I'm gonna get you Mario. I'm back here. Don't you forget about me. 
Don't you begin me. Alright. Gotta get myself copyright striked. Stricken? Probably not. They would hear me singing and they'd be like, hmm. That is not even close to what that sounds like. Your voice is horrible. Alright, so here we go. Time to get blown. Whee! Oops. Uh, is it up here? Oh, it's back there. Ooh, okay. Let's to wait it out. This has got to be incredibly uh, dizzying for Mario. All right, this looks like the end of the line. Is that good enough? You bet it is, viewers. Oh yeah. Feeling good. All right. That wasn't too bad. Decent amount of star bits. Not a nice amount, unfortunately. Close. Close. But we're back at it. We're back at it. We're back in action. All right. Clockwork Ruins number two coming your way. Coming in hot. I'm going to puzzle this one out. I really like this galaxy for some reason, I don't know why. This feels kind of iconic to me. Maybe it's not, I'm overthinking it. There's the first one. Very cool that they are not gonna even give us remotely a hint of where the second one is, but I've got a feeling it's probably gonna be in the latter half of the level, so no hints abound. Some more time with the spooky Goombas. I spun into him and I kicked him at the same time. That was, oops. Unlike that time, the first time was very well coordinated and completely unintentional. I enjoy this one too. There's a little bit of a... What I would assume is maybe a French horn? Perhaps a flugel horn? Here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves on being in tune with music. Oh no. <laughs> but not being in tune with not dying. Okay, well done, me. I told you I had to slow it down. If I didn't, then uh, this episode was going to go fast. It was going to be a speedy boy. I do kind of love the idea of just like booting a Goomba <laughs> into something. There's just something. It's a little cathartic. A little cathartic. That's probably going to wind me up on a list. All right. So far, so good. Oops. We can kill some Octumbas along the way when we fail a jump, why not? And this, as we remember, is Star Bits. Yes. Man, though, I don't know. Those, uh, those multi-Star Bit boxes, oof. It just does it for me. Also, I just love, I love saying that. Multi-Star Bit box. That feels right. Also, I have to be careful I don't accidentally grab this one. That's not what we're here for. It's old news. I don't want anything to do with this. is coins. Yeah. Coins, also old news. Grab this while I'm at it. Grab it. Oop, nope, nope, wait, wait for me. No, wait, no. <laughs> okay. Probably should just do the easy route and run through the little cookie cutter here. Not gonna try to be too fancy. Right, grab these. Nope. Oops. Okay. You know, we're just dilly-dallying a little bit. Sometimes you gotta dilly-dally. Oop, this is the wrong side. No, no, stop. Quit. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Guys, it's fine. It's okay. Just gonna totally forego all those yummy star bits. There's some here, though. I mean, if we can park, like, 50... And a try, or multiple tries. I mean, it is our first try, so it's kind of hard to like really put a number on it, but. All right, we gotta hurry though. No, 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 no. <laughs> we gotta get into the cutout. Things were getting a little dicey. We're fine though. That was actually not really an intentional triple jump, but I'll take it. I hear it. I feel like we're gonna have to change the gravity first. The gravity! Do you understand the gravity of the situation, viewers? 
All right, come on, today. I got things to do, game. Let's speed it up. All right. So it looks like there it is. Top right. Yeah, I don't know if it's possible to get it the other way. Maybe it is, but this seems like kind of the, uh, oop, the obvious choice. This is another obvious choice, but I apparently have no depth perception. Excuse you. I have no depth perception. See ya. Bye. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kind of spiraling out of control. Can I get up here? There we go. Man, you just run to this one. Boop, got it. That one is easy. Okay. Neat. That was fun, wasn't it, viewers? Not too bad. Three stars in 11 minutes. Not quite as quick of a pace as last time, but... Pretty speedy. All right, let's uh, let's throw it back to the past. To link to the past. Hopefully, you're all enjoying that series. It's a lot of fun for me to play. I really enjoy playing that game. I can't be quite as goofy in it because I don't. It's a little tricky. I don't know if this is like a trend in some of the games. That the harder the game is that I play. Oh, there's the star up there. Um, Usually, it's harder for me to be as goofy. Like this one, it's Mario. It's, you know, easy peasy. No problems. You can kind of take your time and have fun, but those harder games, yeah, I gotta, I gotta actually use Monagon a little bit. And because of their higher scaled level of difficulty, like Zelda or, uh, Donkey Kong. I had to really actually like hone in. It's kind of tougher for me to be shooting the breeze with y'all. But I'm going to still work on it, you know. Now that we've got Pikmin fired up, hopefully you guys are going to tune into that one. Pikmin 2 is probably my favorite of the series. I don't know if I said earlier in the past that Pikmin 3 was my favorite of the series. It's not. It's definitely Pikmin 2. I remember as a kid, I used to play Pikmin 2. Like I would come home from school back in the good old days, oops, and I would just play that game, not exaggerating, for hours, which my adult brain cannot handle anymore. Usually I'm good for about a couple hours at a time until I get fried, which makes me a little not super convinced until I get into it that I would do super well with streaming. I know the streaming is fun and some people like I've, I've said in previous episodes of different games, I've seen some people when I pop into a stream just to check it out, the stream counter will say like seven, eight hours at a time and I just can't, I can't even, viewers. How do you play something for eight hours at a time? <laughs> Part of it is I think it's like my small brain, I don't have the attention span to do it. There's a lot of Starbits in this one. I don't have the attention span to do it. I also don't have the patience to do it. So it's those two things in conjunction that potentially would make me a not a great streamer, but we'll find out. I mean, I still enjoy playing the game, so there's that at least. All right, so let's see if we can get this guy to help us out here. It was way up there, so we're probably gonna need to hitch a ride. Hey bud, do you wanna, uh, hello? You wanna come and give us a squeak? Sir, hello? It's right under here. There we go. There we go. Nope. Uh, we didn't make him angry enough. Can you? Uh. He's like, I gotta patrol the perimeter. It's the Womp's Fortress. Okay. Very good. Now don't kill him. Just gonna slowly. Whoop. Okay, perfect. Now we can just hang out. Taking a ride on this boy. Riding the top, riding the top. We're the cream of the crop. That's right. All right, there's a star. Ooh. No, 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 come back. <laughs> it's a little, a uh, little wonky. No, no, no. All right, I mean, as long as you don't get flung off the building. Ah, come on. Come on, guy, pal, champ, chief. You're not even the King Womp, you're just like the 
Security guard. All right, turn. Face me. It's not like I'm doing picture day. Adjust your glasses, fix your hair. Ugh. I did it so easily the first time, and now I'm being a big old dingus. Oops. <laughs> well, that's too bad. It's almost like you're supposed to get out of the way, viewers. Thankfully, though, we are up here still. I was afraid that I was going to have to get all the way back up here. Oh, the horror. All right, now, without killing me, can you... Smash your face. Thank you. Can we do this correctly this time? Just gonna slide. Oop, there we go. Ugh. Should not be this difficult. And. Ugh. And if we do this. Nope, that launches me way out of place. Let's keep rinsing and repeating until we get this. Not intentional. I'm not trying to pad the episode, I promise. <sighs> At least this is getting easier with redoing it. It's quite annoying though. I did it once, my first try, and now every try subsequently is impossible. <sighs> no, no! <laughs> yeah, there. Maybe if I do a bit of a run-up as he's standing. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> That was way too stressful. Yeah. Wasn't that fun, viewers? Wasn't that fun to watch? You just hear the ominous World 6 butthole of doom <laughs> in the background. In the background, so I just said, in the background of the game, in the Mario game. All right, enough of that. Enough fooling around. We're back to the battle belt. That pumpkin with a very odd protrusion hanging out of its head. All right. How many stars have we done today? One, two, three, four. This is number five. I think this one is probably going to be relatively similar. Yep. Relatively similar to the last one. It's kind of funny seeing them put a star over another star, but you know, it is what it is. And the one super fun part about this star is you gotta do all this crap every single time. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you wanna have to do this every time? Okay. Don't have time for reading. Why would you read when there's the movie? This is the movie, viewers. A moving picture for all of you. Okay. Try to get through this as, oops as quickly as possible. I do think it's funny though when you do get burned and you're able to use said burning to launch you into a a pull star or a launch star that essentially cancels it out. All right, let's use our firepower to kill some crabs. Imitation crab. Can you come back here? There we go. I did not even think that that was close to hitting that guy. But I'll take it. Okay. So far, so good. Mario! I'm inside of here and I'm scared! I'm not doing anything to help! Get out of here, you bystander. Bystander effect is very real, though. Psychological phenomena, for those of you who don't know what that is. When you are confronted with danger, our nervous system is programmed with Two options usually, two common options, there are others, but two most commonly known is fight or flight. And flight being one of the, probably the more common, usually that's the one you do first. If you can get the heck out of there, you do. You don't want to, okay, great. You don't want to stick around danger if you can get away, that's good self-preservation. But beyond that, there's the bystander effect, which means that uh, in times of danger, sometimes you just kind of stand around and let things happen because you're too scared. It's tough to really know what to do sometimes when you're panicked. I'm not going to place blame on anybody. It's tough. 
All right, so we don't want that. We want this sling star. Okay, I didn't. I did. I did it. I didn't think that I grabbed that actually. Ignore the hungry Luma star. We gotta kill these Hershey kisses real quick. I did, did I touch that one? I don't think I did. I'll take it. Yeah, this galaxy is really obnoxious. Having to do this, and I'm assuming the third green star is going to be even further back. Here's the second one. Okay. There it is. Yeah, that's dumb. I mean, that's not fun. I don't know if you enjoy that, viewers, but I wouldn't say that I did. But if that's what you're into, then great. Okay. We are almost up to two, two, two. Triple two. It's my favorite. No, it's not. Okay. Let's go back and head down to the bottom side and finish up the Flash Black Galaxy. Makes me sad that this is the last time we're ever going to be doing this. That's okay. We got bigger and better things to do, viewers. There's some crazy stuff that's going to be happening. Not probably this month, but once this Let's Play is done, next month? Actually, the next Let's Play, when this finishes, will probably start at the end of this month, but... In the meantime... I don't want to spoil it. But it's going to be crazy. We're going to be taking Spooky Season to a whole new level, viewers. Whoop! And boop, bye, see ya! Alright, so because the first star was pretty deeply stuck into this one, I'd have to think that the second star is not going to be close, so... We're just gonna make our ascent. A descent ascent. I was meant to say decent, not like go down, up, go up, because that doesn't make any sense. Oh! I didn't even know you could do that. You land on something like that and it gives you a little boost. All right, let's get out of this little labyrinth. Come on. You can only grab the blimp berry after you've already almost run out, which I think is silly. Let me tongue your berries whenever I want. A boom. That's a fun sound. Can we, <laughs> can we, can we quit here? No time for lollygag. Where's the... there's the launch star. I was like, where's that? Alright. This is not going according to plan. Okay, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Show me what you're working with. This is the area that had the uh, green stars. Nope. Incorrect. Silver stars. Oh, this boy's trying to come after us. How about you back off? You know what? I'm gonna murder you. Famous last words. Grab the circle of star bits. Oh I, oh, I did grab one of the silver stars, did not intend to. All right, probably gonna have to kill both of you to prevent you from preventing me. The double prevent. And the one here. Yeah, they're just trying to get on my nerves, ruffle my feathers. I won't allow it. Ooh, I see a green. I see something glowing. Can I turn the map around? Yes. Okay. Okay. Not so bad. That was one, two, three, four, five, and six. That was the last star of the day. Guys, we did it. Viewers, you're amazing. And if you're feeling amazing, liking the video will help. Commenting on the video and subscribing. That's, that's three twos, quite a bit. And I don't know if that's enough to push us to the next thousand mark with Bank Toad. I don't know that we were close. Oh, we got eight. Ooh, this might be enough. I can't do quick math like that. I don't think so, actually. It's gonna be just short. Oh, almost. It's a nice start, though. All right, so that's all the time I've got for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I will see you all next time. Bye.